Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be using the power of AI to locate an element using an XPath. And here we are talking about the complex elements. So let's begin. As an automation test engineer, when you are working on Selenium or Playwright scripts, so you might have encountered with a scenario where you are unable to locate an element. And this happens because the element is basically does not have any unique locator like any ID or name or something like that. So when we are working as automation engineer, we have to locate the elements. Some elements are easy to locate and some are complex in nature. So first, let me show you the easiest one. So like this one, we are on the Orange Channel website. Just right click on this username field, inspect this one. And here you will see that we have this name, username. Okay. So we can easily identify here this particular field. Now let me show you the complex field. So let's log in here. And after login, uh, we need to go to the leaf module. And into the leaf module, I will show you something where the elements have the same class and they don't have the unique locator. So go to the leaf here. And now we have three drop downs show leaf with the status, leaf type, and we have subunit. So all these are drop downs. And if I right click on this one and inspect this one, so you will see that we have only one attribute. Okay, so we have only class, and the class is oxt dash select dash text dash input. Now, if I go and here and select this one, you will find the same class. And even if I go here and highlight this one or select this one, you will find the same class. Now, problem here is that there is only one attribute and that attribute is not unique in nature. Now, in this scenario, what we need to do is that we need to write our XPath. Now, what I will do is that instead of writing the XPath by myself, I will be using the Google Assistant's AI and then this AI will be writing a XPath for me. So I have already written a very simple and easy to understand prompt. So simply let me show you, go to the notepad over here. And this is a very simple AI prompt. Locate the selected drop down using XPath. Use best XPath creating techniques and provide the unique locator. Now let's copy this one and let's go back over here. And here, what I need to do is that, for example, I need to uh, select this particular drop down, right? So let me go here and highlight this one or select this one. Now this element is selected. Now let's go to this AI assistance and just provide the prompt and press enter. Now it will analyze this one and come up with the unique locator. Now let's see what this AI will do. Let me scroll this up. So it's generating a unique XPath locator and it's, it's trying and then it's come up with something to continue with. Now what happened is that we should also consider if there are multiple elements with the same attributes. Now we have seen this thing right now. There's, there are three drop down. They have class and they are using the same class, right? So we should consider if there are multiple elements with the same attributes, we can check this in our action. So AI is suggesting you to proceed with this thing. That's good. Just click on continue. Now it's defining the XPath locator using the class names because AI is smart. Now again, it's asking for something. And it says that, uh, which is a parallel element of a selector element and is unique. We should check if we can use this path to provide a unique results. AI is doing everything for you. Because if you see that, we have now evaluated three different x expression expressions and counted the number of elements they match. They match three elements with this one. So if I, if I copy this x path from here and then control F, and paste it over here. So you see that there are three elements found, right? So there are three basically 
the drop-down fields and three are highlighted still. But AI is doing AI is smart over here. So let's continue with this one. And now it's building a unique X path for that highlighted field. Now this is the final one, and let's copy this one from here and paste it over here. Now this time it should say one of one. And if I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. So if I click on this one, so you see that this particular leaf type is got highlighted and this is uniquely identified. So that's how you can leverage the AI in order to find the unique locator when we have the complex scenario like this one. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.